Hi, Mike and Jim here. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Stoving. You're looking into the flame of a Jetboil Jewel. Uh, the Jetboil Jewel is the uh, really large group stove from Jetboil. It uh, runs with a canister inverted, which gives you better cold weather performance. So this is your uh, this is sort of your mountaineering stove. This is one made for cold weather and melting snow and for groups. Uh, I'm doing some wind testing. And uh, we're looking straight into the flame here, and, and I apologize, it's going to be hard to see because, uh, well, I've got the windscreen in place. And the windscreen's a clear plastic, but I've been uh, testing for uh, about a month now, and, uh, you know, I've got a few uh, scratches and smudges and that sort of thing on the windscreen. So let me lift up the windscreen here. There we go. Now we can probably see it a little bit better. There we go. That out away completely here so I don't melt the darn thing. It's got three buttons, and the windscreen is suspended from the pot on those three buttons. And now we can see the flame a lot better. Um, it's a really windy day today. I'm getting something like uh, 45 mile an hour, something like that, gusts. And um, that flame is really not flickering. I don't have it on high. That flame's on a fairly low setting. Uh, I'm getting some flicker, but not much. It's even better with the uh, windscreen. The windscreen does seem to help some. <clears throat> the windscreen does not seem to be critical. Uh, you get some pretty good wind, resi wind resistance just from the design of the Jetboil Jewel. The flame is well recessed, and unlike other Jetboils, it is not open underneath the burner. There's a disc underneath the burner, and the disc prevents a lot of gusts from going up through there. So, boy, if Jetboil uh, were to look at redesigning some of their stoves, they ought to really think about wind resistance and putting a disc, as with the Jewel, underneath their uh, burners because uh, a lot of jet boils, and I'll, uh, I'll post another video of a jet boil sole being blown out in high winds. But anyway, I'm in winds that can really kill a jet boil. Now there we got a good gust and we saw a little impact on the flame, but remember I've got the windscreen away. So even though I'm low flame uh, with high gusts, uh, I'm not having any trouble boiling water. You can see the steam, I think, wafting in front of the camera lens every once in a while. So really the Jetboil Jewel is a pretty good stove in terms of wind characteristics and that's, uh, that's nice if you're going to be out uh, mountaineering in very exposed areas or uh, up on a big wall or something like that where you need to uh, melt snow and be able to do it without uh, being able to shelter the stove with uh, logs and rocks and such like that. You can't always count on sheltering a stove. So this is a good one, good wind resistance. I'm uh, very impressed by it. I, have been not impressed by other jet boils that uh, have just been well, basically they tanked when, when they got into wind they just blew out and I couldn't even boil water. No problem boiling water in wind with this stove. Very good. All right I'm going to turn down the flame now. Sometimes when you get gusts uh, you'll get what's called underburn. I don't know that we'll get that today. No, it looks like it's fine. Every once in a while, you see how there's little blue dots, those are the flames, and they're coming out of the surface of the burner under certain, certain, there. You hear the difference in the flame sound? Now notice how the flame, the, uh, it's now glowing orange, it's making a weird noise, that's underburn. The way you handle that, the response is to turn off the stove, okay? And it does happen occasionally. Uh, it happens on uh, low flame generally and high wind. And so when you have a low flame and the flame's not putting a lot of pressure against the uh, coming out of the burner, the flame can get blown back into underneath the burner surface uh, by the wind and you'll get that kind of weird gargling, bad muffler kind of a sound. And you, the uh, burner will turn a bright orange and you won't see the little blue dots of the flame. And when you get those kind of conditions, that's underburn. You need to be aware of it because it could damage the stove potentially and you just need to turn it off, let it cool down, restart the stove. Uh, probably won't happen in non-windy conditions, probably won't happen if you have the flame on high. Uh, it just seems to happen more when the flame is low and it's windy. Now, it's not a defect, it's just something that happens with this type of stove. Uh, again, the, the impact is zero if you know what to do. Uh, just turn it off, let it cool down, restart the stove. Okay, well anyway, that's the Jetball Jewel. Very nice stove, very powerful. You gotta be really careful that you don't boil it dry because it's more powerful than most stoves. And uh, really has good wind handling characteristics. 
And you do need to be aware that underburn can happen. You need to know how to handle it. All right, anyway, that's uh, the Jetball Jewel. I'm Mike Thanks for joining me on another episode of Adventures in Stowing.